Hello interwebs and welcome to the review of CyanogenMod 10.1 for the LG Optimus 2X. This is one of the official CyanogenMod releases for the LG Optimus 2X. And uh, this version of CyanogenMod 10.1, if you didn't already know, it's running a version of Android that is 4.2.2. So here it is, the Jelly Bean Android Easter Egg, if you want to call it that. Uh, well, and uh, as you can see, this is running Cyanogen Mod version 10.1-2013-06-18 nightly, and nightly means it's an experimental build that can have a lot of bugs. The only bugs I have encountered is the uh, brightness. The brightness is always turning off when you lock it screen. Well, not al always, but pretty much the brightness is off when you turn on the screen again. But uh, hopefully we won't experience this that in this review. And uh, as you can see, there all is also the same thing as the yellow beam for the Cyanogen mod. And it's running Cyanogen mod 10.1 nightly, so you may experience something. I have the Wi Fi, the Bluetooth. I haven't got a SIM card in this, so I don't know how the if you can make any calls and stuff like that, but I think you will be able to because everything else works so smoothly. It is a lot better than the official ICS version 30A uh, that LG released, but it's a bit of a hassle getting Sega Mod on it. But I will release a video showing you how to get Sega Mod 10.1 on your LG Optimus 2X in a little while, and uh, this works very very well. The Sega Mod. And as you can see, it is running Google now, and it is really fast. And as you can see, it's got the 4.2.2, uh, the what you call it, the multitask, uh, multitask screen. And as you can see, it's running very smoothly with Project Butter. And it is very very smooth. It's like pure Android, and it is one of the best operating system. It is the best operating system I have ever run on the Optimus 2X. The everything that LG has released for it has been a disaster, and I will think I will st uh, have it stay on, uh, stay on this Android Mod 10.1 if they don't release an update, which I don't think. Maybe they will, will, but let's see. I haven't really, uh, I don't really know. But first things first, this, if you don't know, CyanogenMod is something, it's a Android version that a bunch of people have released that is, uh, that you can install after you have rooted your device and after you have installed Clockwork Mod Recovery you flash the Clockwork Mod Recovery image and then you will need to flash the Cyanogen Mod version and uh, just be careful when you're installing Cyanogen Mods or other ROMs for uh, your phone because they might damage it and this one I have found out it works fine it works really well actually and as you can see I'm connected to Wi-Fi and here we have this nice uh, jelly bean, uh, jelly bean, what do you call it, scroll, the jelly bean status bar, which can change and here we have some reviews. And here is the brightness settings. And it come up with this little scroller thingamajig. You can see that it's a bit lagging with the brightness settings. As you can see, let's keep it like that for this review. And here we also have 
the charging. My battery is dead on this, so I will need to have it plugged in at all times because I haven't found a new battery. I know I have a new battery somewhere here, but I haven't really found it. And it got no service because I haven't got a SIM card in this and it's connected to Wi-Fi. And browsing speed is actually very, very good. Uh, if... Uh, Klein. Well, let's see here. Let's go into uh, our website, see if it can load up. You're good. And by the way, the keyboard is stock Android or Cyanogen mod. It's really, really good. And let's go import. Let's go into Minecraft.net and see how this, how fast this br browser is. This phone is with Cyanogen mod 10.1. And as you can see, it loads up the page very, very quickly. And the scrolling, it's very, very smooth. It's really, really, really smooth. And let's check how YouTube videos show up. And videos inside the web browser. They work really, really, really well. Down to the darkest caves. And let's just wipe that away. And now we got here what to show you. Well, uh, let's see. Let's go into the Play Store. Uh, we have a sad little button here. This, by the way, this does not come with Cyanidmon. You will need to install the Google app separately with the Google. Well, but let's search for if we haven't installed Google Maps. Google Maps. Here we have it. And let's install Google Maps so you can see how fast the installing is. You may remember if you have ALG Optimus 2X that with the official versions, this takes forever installing new apps. It is really, really ludicrous, and it takes ages, and it's installing now, and you can see it installed it very, very quickly. And let's see the brightness. My camera is not really liking the brightness settings. Well, that may be a bit better. And as you can see here, it opened really quickly. And this is something I use for to check for how fast the phone really is. Google Maps. And let's go to... Let's go... Here we have Japan. Well, to check how fast a phone is, you can use Google Maps for this and as you can see, it's got a bit of lag, but it is pretty fast, pretty, pretty fast, actually. And as you can see, it's, well, it's got a normal Android lag, but overall, it's much better than the, than the, 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 the official version. And I haven't really installed a game. Well, then let's install a game and see how that works out. We can say if there is some game here that we can use. Let's go into top three. See one of the games here. Well, let's search for rat on a scooter. And see, Rat on the Run. Here we have Rat on the Scooter. And I have tested this before, and let's install it. Accept it. And we shall see how this phone compares when it uh, turns to gaming. If you remember, the official version made it really, really, really slow for gaming. Successfully install Rat on the Scooter. Let's. Take this away, and as this is Jelly Bean, you can uh, open 
uh, open what do you call them? Notif no notifications with two fingers and s uh, and open them in that fashion. And uh, while this loads, games. it seems pretty pretty fast, I shall say. And as you can see, mind you, I am playing this through the camera. So, well, it works. The frame rate on this is actually not, not that bad. It is very, very good and well, that is Cyanogen mod, and we will come. I will release another video showing you how to install Cyanogen mod on your LG Optimus 2X with your Windows computer. And one final thing we need to show you because this is Jelly Bean, the lock screen is different. And as you can see here, it got this swirly effect, and we have uh, a shortcut to the browser and you can see that nice old television thing when you when you turn the screen off and we can unlock it but the really fun thing about jelly bean is lock screen widget widgets see if i can get it to work here we have this is a flashlight widget now the brightness is really not liking this but that is a flashlight widget as you can see the flashlight is working and let's see if we can get the brightness here we have now you can see everything with the brightness turned on and now this works really 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 well and you got this swirly what do you call it disco ball effect and we got a widget to the camera. Yes, the camera. I haven't shown you the camera. The camera actually works on this version of Cyanogen mod. If we do, if I can take this for a while, I and I will take a picture of here. And if you couldn't hear that, if I take another picture here, listen to this really, really good sound effect. And now the images, and this is actually exactly like Windows Phone. You scroll it outside, you came, come here, and this is, I, I really like this about the camera, and the other, focus, focus, yes, here we have it. And the camera, as you can see, when you're in gallery, the camera is here. And as you can see, I really, really like this. And this is something I took with the camera. And as you can see, the camera works. Well, it's not the best camera in the world, world because it's the LG Focus. Focus. There we are. Because it is the LG, but here we have it. And the stagger thing, and... Well, that is pretty much everything I wanted to show you. And now we're back here. And I want this to focus. S yes, like that. Here we have the widget. And you can add a widget to the lock screen. Here we have the Cyanogen Mod Music Player Apollo. And the IA Calculator Calendar Clock. The Digital Clock. Sitting. Yes, th something else I wanted to show you is, it's a, well, it's actually something, well, I am doing this through the camcorder, so expect some of that. Well, now here, this CyanogenMod version I like Cyanogen mod because of one thing. 
no, not just one thing, but this one thing I really like. It's probably stock Android, but the timer on this thing. I really, really love it. It's sleek, it's simple, and it's actually pretty darn good. And as you can see, it works really, really, really well. And that's it for the CyanogenMod 10.1 for the LG Optimus 2X. I hope you enjoyed this, and well, it stays rooted with the CyanogenMod. And uh, we'll see you in another video. Uh, this is Matthew signing out.